the Atlantic writer Jamil Hall took uh, aim at Asian Americans celebrating the decision, writing to one woman that she gladly carried the water for white supremacy and stabbed the fo folks in the back whose people fought diligently for Asian American rights in America. Joining us now is Kenny Shu, the president of Color Us United and a board member of Students for Fair Admissions, the group that sued Harvard and UNC. Um, and still with us is Horace Cooper. Uh, Kenny, your reaction to what's, uh, what's happened here? I'm gonna have to say this. Unfortunately, Jamil Hill's comments are reminiscent of a segment of the collective wisdom of the black community against Asians. In my new book, School of Woke, I talk about how one San Francisco board member called Asians house N-word because Asians were protesting the admissions policies of their selective school. Some of these Americans truly believe that Asian Americans are cheaters. They believe that they steal from the tests, that they uh, improperly oh. cheat on exams. And this is very sad, Jason. It is very sad because I don't want this to happen for anybody. I want respect. When, when a community is excellent academically, they should be respected for it. Instead, you see people like Jameel Hill and some other members of the black community really just go after Asian Americans. Horace, what's your take on what Kenny says? Because he makes a very, very important point, you know? These people, we're, we're supposed to be a meritocracy. You, 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 you win it by merit. And because a certain community is thriving academically, they get called unfathomable words and, and attacks. And this case, I'm glad it finally came to the Supreme Court. But what are your thoughts, Horace? Well, I'm glad it came to the Supreme Court, too. Project 21 filed an amicus brief joining uh, in this lawsuit saying that we should not have any type of discrimination. It is clear to me that we shouldn't be discriminating against Asian Americans, but we also shouldn't be discriminating against white Americans. We shouldn't be discriminating against any Americans. The schools need to understand that the legacy of race-based school admissions comes from Plessy Ferguson, separate but equal. It wasn't yeah. the injustice of saying that it was a black person that was violated. The whole injustice was that a citizen was being denied the ability to compete and use the resources and go to a school. We support the ability of all Americans, Asians, blacks, and whites, to be able to join in, compete, yeah. and if some achieve well, I say congratulations. And I also say shame on Jamil Hill so, and shame on any black Americans that attack Asians because, quote, they're too excellent. Kenny, I, I want to get your quick reaction to what Princeton professor Eddie Glaude said about the affirmative action ruling. Have a look. We will return to... Uh, elite institutions, more more specifically, uh, being the space for a particular population, for predominantly white and Asian students. We will begin to see a kind of segregated uh, uh, higher education landscape. Kenny, what's your reaction? I think they're just going to have to put up with it. <laughs> They're just going to have to put up with the fact that more Asians are going to get into Harvard, more Asians are going to get into Princeton. They really don't like that for some reason. Why? Why does the Ivy League not like the fact that their class might become 38, 40 percent Asian? What, what's wrong with that? Did the Asians, are the Asians getting in because of preference? No. They're getting in because of merit. They're getting in because Asians have 35 percent of the top SAT scores in the nation. They, they get in because that's their merit, and that's the just reward for their merit. And because if you're an elite school, if you're Harvard or Princeton, you should be getting the most elite candidates academically. And Asians happen to be Absolutely. the most elite candidates academically.
Yeah, you know, the kids that, that are graduating and moving forward, they should be able to do it because of their own merit, regardless of their skin or their ethnicity or their cultural backgrounds. If you work hard, you work smart, you outpace people, then you should get rewarded for that. And the Asian culture that I know thrives in that. Not all of them. Some of them are as stupid as anybody I know. But you know what? A lot of them are wicked smart, too. And they should be the ones that advance. Kenny, Horace, I wish I had more time on this topic, but I got to keep moving. Have a wonderful 4th of July.